Understand? I'm telling you to sing. Uh, sing. Take it easy, Paul. Who's that in the front of uh, Birds of a feather, eh? Well, you know what's good for you, Martin. Frightening you'll keep you stood out of this. Don't concern yourself, please. I'm leaving. Sorry you did that for you, boy. It might get you into trouble. Don't worry about me. I'll take care of myself. Want me to go along with you? No, no, please. I'll be all right. Thank you, Mom. All right. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I should think you would be. Getting up from our table to brawl with the top man in the party. I said I was sorry. That old chap's been decent to me. I can't stand by and see him bully. Look here, Martin. We've been friends for years. I think it's time we had an understanding about this. Now, Fred, I'll do the talking. We're in a state of revolution. If we follow the will of our leader, it will be a bloodless one. I follow. And I. And uh, I hope soon to have a share in enforcing it. I see anyone who opposes it as an enemy of his country. And I'm not willing to be seen in his company. You know, I persuaded Martin to come. I said Keep out of this, Maria. It's no woman's business. We want to know where you stand. We want to know whether you're going to join the party and work for Germany, or herd with a pacifist vermin we're going to stamp out. We want to know, right now. The feeding of the Good 
afternoon, Leonard. Good afternoon. There, there's a new order. I should say Heil Hitler. But I will. Back to you. Thank you, Leonard. That is unless some of the other gentlemen are present. Or are the students. Yeah, fellas, you understand. Hey, Hitler. Uh-huh. Heil Hitler. Before we uh, resume our experiments on the physical composition of the blood, are there any questions? Well? Is it your opinion that there is no difference between the blood of an Aryan and the blood of a non-Aryan? Those are the findings of science. Until now, physiology has been unable to discover any difference in the blood of the various races. <laughs> it's a direct contradiction to our leader's principle of racial purity. It's an evident defense of racial degeneration, and it's a lie. I've given you the facts. Scientific truth is scientific truth, unchangeable and eternal. It cannot be altered to suit the policies of the hour or the clamor of immature hoodlum. <laughs> I demand that every loyal follower of our leader leave this room immediately. From now on, this class is strictly boycotted. And those who remain do so at their own peril.